but I was never someone who was an athlete. I just assumed that being in my 60s, I wasn't going to be able to stay as strong. Being strong and healthy at this age and still being able to care for my son, you know, after all these years. For me, it's been kind of like, wow, I can't believe I can do this. <laughs> these are, he likes the theme runs, but... Uh, the superheroes. And then we did the turkey trot. Let's see where the turkey trot is. My name is Linda Segundo, and I'm Tony's mom. <laughs> Tony is 34 years old. He's our oldest. 34. Your number's 34. He's our oldest son, and he has had a very medically challenging life. He was diagnosed at three days of age with frontal parietal subdural AVM, so it was a issue in his brain with his arteries and veins didn't develop so they gave us a year and he is now 34 wow. so he's been our miracle boy he had multiple brain surgeries oh. they had to remove brain tissue so we never knew what was going to happen after each brain surgery they were at a point where they said he'll be in a vegetative state or they said well we had to take part of the speech center and stuff and <laughs> <laughs> he did learn to walk when he was almost three. He learned to walk. He was able to walk till he was 14. And when I used to be in school. Uh -huh. And so he did track, Special Olympics wow. track and field. How many years did I used to be at physical therapy? Here? Your whole life, dude. We don't use the wheelchair here in the house. I did check with the doctor and he's like, no, keep his legs moving and stuff because they do atrophy. And when we've taken him for checkups and stuff, they're saying he's not deteriorating as quickly, but that's because we don't use the chair unless we go out. He's taught me nothing is impossible because the prognosis was a year and we just said, okay, well, we're just going to make the most of this year. And then it went into year two. And then I was kind of a very shy person and I've learned to advocate. You say no, but let's try. Let's at least try. Let's do the research. And I think perseverance, patience, love, patience. this unconditional love for someone and that I had that in me and I didn't realize I did. You're just bursting. You're just like, want to just do everything you can to give him the best quality of life that we can. And when he suffered a setback at the age of 14 and lost the ability to ambulate, one night he's lying in bed, he said he missed running and going fast. So we started running and honestly, it was not my favorite thing to do. But once we got started, he motivates me to run. And my whole reason for running was staying as healthy as I can to continue to take care of him. What did you used to say? Pick up speed. Yeah. So he used to say, hurry up, mom. Yeah. He's done but, McAllen Marathon six uh, years now. But the independent run during the summer. And then the causeway, he likes bridges. And I said, don't look down on the bridges. We do rock and roll San Antonio. We've been doing that for like 10 years now. I'd say about 30 half marathons and then tons of 5Ks. My husband served in the Marine Corps for over 20 years. So that was his goal. He wanted to run Marine Corps. He wanted to be a Marine like Dad. You know, we're obviously never first. It's hard to push 125 pounds in front of you, but his smile and that he loves to tell people, I did this. I completed a race and his accomplishments, I think, fill me up with a lot of joy, but also just that I'm capable of more than I ever thought possible. And I've always been kind of a low, kind of behind the scenes kind of person and it feels good that somebody says, oh, you're a marathoner, and I'm like, you know what, I am. I noticed my running, I have become slower, but also I used to just be able to pick him up, piggyback him. I was able to carry him, lift him, do that. And it seemed like in a very short 
span, I suddenly couldn't do that as well. It wasn't gradual. It wasn't like, oh, he's getting harder to lift. It was like literally one week to the next. I just felt like I can't lift him. And it's like that, you know, that can't happen. And so I had a friend and she was, you just got to try to CrossFit. And I said, no, I've seen it on TV. I said, that's an bad back waiting to happen. I said, I already have a bad back. I can't, I need to be really careful. And she said, no, try this class. There's people walking around and they tell you the exact exercise and they demonstrate. And I knew when we were exercising that somebody was watching me because somebody was coming to correct me. And so I kind of started feeling like, okay, I'm going to give this another shot. But I also looked around and I was like, I'm the oldest person here. <laughs> so I, I was apprehensive because I am 61 years old and I just felt like, oh my God, I'm this oldie here and these guys are big weights. It's like, oh my God, the bar is heavy. <laughs> and then I'm like, I thought I was strong. It's been one of those where another, I don't know if I'd call it a milestone or something that I never ever thought I could do. And here I am able to do it and it kind of makes me feel good, but also I can still keep taking care of him. Every time I walk through there, everybody says hi, and I'm like, wow. Everybody's focused and everybody's got their goals, but they take the time to look around. And I think the biggest thing for me has been that I feel like I'm not alone in this and that I feel encouraged. I feel like it's something that I never thought I'd be able to do and I'm doing. Do you know your mom can do a handstand? No. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was, oh my God, she that did was a just. The other day. I did it more than once. Yeah, she did multiple Sometimes handstands. Me. This is something I'm not just doing for him, which he's the priority and my husband and my daughter and everybody that depends on me. I feel like I'm trying to stay as strong as I can, but at the same time, I'm kind of proud that I'm like doing CrossFit. Don't shortchange yourself. Here I thought I was this and here I was able to accomplish this. And I think a lot of people lose faith in themselves and I never would have spoken up somewhere and now I speak up. I didn't think I was going to be here at this age being able to to do this much and now 60 is just a number i can get strong i'll be piggybacking him again in no time and feeling healthy you can do anything it's possible and i never ever would have thought that uh, before or then it's okay to have your down days. I think that's been the hardest part to learn is that it's okay to say, I can't do it today. And one of the most beautiful things that I've seen in that CrossFit is that there's a lot of good people. I think there's a lot of negativity in the world, but you're out there, there's somebody out there and you just gotta find your people and they'll help lift you up. And if you can lift somebody else up, then, you know, we help each other.